afternoon. We are doing an experiment today. Um, I am the proud new owner of a bunch of freshly filled raised beds. And well, I've had the beds for a long time, but we just got them filled. And I am going to do an experimental planting of potatoes today. I've heard that you can winter them over in the ground, um, which apparently is how you plant Irish potatoes, which are darker colored potatoes. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. And I'm gonna document it to see how it turns out. So I'm gonna head over to this bed right here that's in the northeast corner. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so today is like October 3rd, I think, or something. And we are well past, yeah, it is the third. We are well past our first frost date. Um, it's been in the 70s this week. And it's been down into the 40s at night, but we have yet to have a hard frost. Um, it's pretty late in the year for us for that, and I figure there is no better time to try this experiment. Um, I have read a little bit online about wintering over certain types of potatoes in the ground. Um, just from my research, which is pretty slim because there is not a lot of information on the internet about planting potatoes in the fall for a harvest in, you know, early, early summer. It's going to be a little bit earlier than your main crop uh, potato harvest if you plant in the spring, which I'll be doing that as well. So it'll be an interesting um, comparison to my main crop, which I'll plant in the spring, but these are supposed to do a lot better because they will start sprouting um, as soon as danger of frost is passed, they'll get a jump in the early season and they're not waiting on you to put them in the ground in the spring. They're already in the ground. Um, a couple of the main points that I read is that they do have to be planted pretty deep. Like you're not going to winter over potatoes um, by just mulching them with hay because there's just not enough um, insulation to keep them from freezing and rotting in the spring. So we're going to plant them about six inches deep and then I'm going to mulch them as well as planting them at a normal um, depth. And you're recommended to use a red or a purple type of potato. Um, I guess that as far as uh, vegetables go that when they're darker colored that they will winter over better. They have some some kind of advantage of frost hardiness that's chemically due to their being darker in color. Um, so you should use a red or purple potato or as I read it online an Irish potato. Um, and I guess that this is how the Irish have planted their potatoes um, and that's why if it was a hard winter they wouldn't have a good potato crop because when you do get a really severe winter um, it might kill off some of your potatoes in the ground. Although I think that being in our zone, they'll probably be fine. And my main crop of potatoes, I didn't actually get planted this year because we were in the middle of doing this whole renovation project and they just didn't end up going in the ground. I didn't have the space and we were doing too much construction in here. So there is no harm done in putting those potatoes in the ground. Um, it's a little late, so they might not do anything, but it'll be interesting to see if they do. As well as some potatoes that I have gotten from friends and family that I am totally doing as an experimentation. I took the best and largest potatoes with the most dyes and I'm going to plant them. And then I ate the rest. So this will be really fun to see how they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my potatoes and space them out and get started.
right, so I have gotten all of the potatoes that I was going to plant into these three beds, which is a great place for them. It's in the northeast corner. Like I said, they're going to get plenty of sun. And I can just leave them here to do their thing over the winter. And I'm not going to miss the space in the spring. So this is going to be a really great place for them to sit and hopefully make new little baby potatoes. I'm really interested to see how this turns out. Um, like I said... Typically, from the little bit of information that I found, you would use Irish potatoes or potatoes that are red or purple variety, something darker colored. Um, but I did have some extra um, like russet type and butterball type potatoes that I'm just going to try this with because they would have gone into the compost anyway. So I just put them in the ground to see what they're going to do. I'm not wasting any space and I would really like to see what happens to them. So I'm going to go over again the varieties that I put in here and what they ended up looking like because I did have um, a variety that I didn't end up planting which was the red Pontiac um, which is just going to go in the compost. They were too far gone. They had some little tiny potatoes on them so um, I'm not going to end up putting those in the ground but the ones that I did get in here were these are Kevin's purple potatoes went in first and these uh he just dug all these out of his garden this is my husband's uncle Kevin he's a great guy and he's a great gardener and I'm really excited to have some of his potatoes here um he has some purple potatoes that he gave me for some starts and then I saved some of his red potatoes and some of his russet potatoes too these are Kevin's red potatoes in this half so I've got two rows of purple two rows of red of Kevin's and then my grandpa, who is renowned for growing great potatoes, I have three rows of my grandpa's red potatoes. And then I just have this one row of Kevin's russet potatoes that are, I don't think they're not recommended. They're just not what is commonly used for overwintering potatoes. Um, so I'm just going to try that to see what happens. And then this bed here... I isolated just this bed for the um, potatoes from er excuse me the potatoes from earlier this year, which they look okay. Um, the purple ones definitely over summered in the cellar way better than the butterball type. So the reds didn't do so good. The reds were fairly decomposed. The purple ones were still relatively firm and they had chitted out really well. The butterballs had chitted pretty well, but they were starting to get kind of squishy. So we'll see how those ones do. I'm really hopeful that these are going to winter over these purple ones. This is a purple beauty um, that I got from... What is that potato company called? Yes, babe. Hi. Well, hi. Hi. What's up? Huh? Eh. Yes. This oh. is an Idaho. Hi. Mwah. I love you. Can you hold this for me so I can read it? Yeah. It's called Grand Teton Organics, and this is an Idaho-based potato company. Thank you, babe. Yeah. This is the Grand Teton um, Purple Beauty and the Grand Teton German Butterball. So the other thing I failed to mention is um, now that I've got these planted and watered in, I'm probably going to let them settle for a couple of days and then I will mulch them with some straw. I'm going to do a pretty thick mulch, as thick as I can get it in these beds, which is probably going to be mulch, mulch. I might even cover them. Uh, just to hold it in for the winter. Um, one of my biggest concerns with these beds were uh, the pocket gophers getting into them. But luckily, I was able to purchase enough hardware cloth to go underneath all of them. So I don't have to worry about any kind of pests in these, which is super exciting. I do know that pocket gophers can burrow up in the snow and actually tunnel in the snow. And this entire garden is going to be covered in anywhere from three to six feet of snow at a time so I think I might like throw some sheets over them just in case um just mulch them cover them and let them sit for the winter and then uncover them in the spring and we'll check back in when they sprout so I'll see you then
Grand Teton Organics. And don't drink my tea. That's my tea. You're such a little turd. Do you want some tea? Yeah. You want me to make you some? No, mine. Can mommy have some? Thank you. Yeah. Don't dig in my beds. Don't dig in there. Take my shovel to the greenhouse, please. One, One two, two, three. Go. Okay. Thank you. Run. One, We're going to go in the house and make dinner. Me. Yeah. You want to go? Yeah. Okay. Apple. So, okay. we'll see how they do. Sweet. You want a drink? Yeah. Okay. Can you say bye? Bye. We'll see you next time.